Hey YouTube, it's uh, Scott here. Uh, I'm just making one uh, one of my first videos actually with my brand new camera. Well, I did one on Christian Island, but I also have a light setup and uh, I'm going to be getting a microphone. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, different types of addiction. Um, it's all, in my opinion, intertwines with alcohol when it comes to me. So I'm going to say my experience about something that just happened today. So today was my first day back at work since uh, my fun weekend. And uh, after work, I went to the casino. So I drove past. I'm driving. And what song comes on? Pink Floyd Money. This is right when I'm driving by, I think it's called the, F not Flamingo, Flamboro, some kind of casino in Brantford. So I thought, hey, what the hell. I'm going to check it out. Put 20 bucks in. Got like four dollars. Put ten more bucks in. So basically, I ended up winning a nice little jackpot. Not not a big one. So I walked out of there with like 145 bucks. But uh, th this is when when I think about addiction, um, I've had addictions with you know whether it be cigarettes, caffeine, drinking, gambling, um, and, and then I get I've heard people say and mention. You don't have an addiction, you just, or you don't have an addiction to this certain thing, you have the overall addiction of not enough, which is true. You know, if I have uh, caffeine, I don't normally have a coffee, I'll pop caffeine pills, I'll do 200 milligrams, and then I'll do another 200 milligrams, and not now, but back when I was really fucking hitting those you know, caffeine pills and thermogenics and, you know, back when I did steroids when I was younger, um, all those other things. I just, I never had enough. Um, food, same thing. I order a pizza, I'm eating that whole fucking pizza. I'm not leaving a slice or two. I can't do it. Same thing with, uh, if I'm sitting at a bar and I see someone leave a cold, like a tiny little beer, it makes me so angry and that, like, it's disgusting, but I just want to drink it. Like, I... It drives me nuts to not see something finished. So I just want to touch base on the whole gambling kind of thing. Uh, back when I was younger, I inherited quite a bit of money. Um, and I think all I got out of that, I, I saved a little bit at the end of the day, but I blew most of it. Um, all I got from a big inheritance was addiction problems and no value of money. So which leads me to the whole gambling thing. If I was on a drunken, you know, night and I won 140 bucks, fuck, I'm gonna double that. I'm gonna double that. I'm gonna double that until I get shit faced and then I leave. I spent about 10 minutes in a casino today. One, got the fuck out of there. And that's when it comes to recognizing when you have problems. You know, you can say in your mind, I'm only gonna have this one drink. I'm only gonna have one cigarette. I'm only gonna drink one coffee a day. And that's that one thing that is going to come back and bite you in the ass. Because once you have that afternoon cigarette, what's stopping you from having that evening cigarette? But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not saying I'm not going to ever gamble, but my days of getting fucking smashed and going to the casino and blowing my money and driving back and uh, being sad, that's done with. You know, if I'm going to gamble, I'm going to go play poker with my friends for minimal amounts of money. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to touch base with the whole that and, and mainly with the gambling thing because uh, you know back in my high roller days I used to love the Baccarat and a uh, good buddy of mine he's uh, I don't know who's worse me or him but me and him together fucking horrible combination I remember one night we were betting thousands and thousands of dollars at the Baccarat table and my buddy got up to like nine grand and I'm like you should fucking walk away and this was me an addict telling somebody to walk away no, we'll, we'll, we'll just hit 15,000. Well, that fucking guy lost nine grand. Which a thousand of his, a thousand was his, a thousand was mine. But then he paid me the thousand back because I didn't want to keep playing because I was too fucking drunk. But, yeah, so I really do think there is a theory to the disease of not enough. Because I certainly have that. And some people might have it with drinking. Some people might have whatever it is. I think I have it with pretty much everything. Pizza, cheese, uh, 
obviously drinking. Uh, smoking, I can take that or leave it now. Um, what else? Pretty much, sugar was never a big thing for me. Um, but the whole gambling thing, and the, the gambling was bad when I was drinking because I threw obscene amounts of money down the fucking toilet and I regret it. So, I don't know, do I make a rule book? Do I gamble this much? Do I gamble that much? I hadn't gambled in a while. I won right away. And I got out of there. And, you know, if I do, the, do I want to go back now? Yeah, you fucking right I want to go back. You win money? You think it's that easy? First time I went to the casino, got a straight flush, three card poker. Okay, so I think it was 800 bucks I went right off the bat, something like that. And I kept going back, kept going back. And the worst thing you can do in a casino is just keep winning and winning and winning. And then you think that you have everything beat. Oh, I don't have to work. I was 22, 23 years old before I really started hitting the casinos. But, um, you know, fortunately I've been lucky sometimes, but, uh, you know, there's, there's those times that, you know, I've, I've, fuck, felt so depressed walking out of those. You win a hundred bucks, or say you win a thousand dollars, you're way up here, or you're here. You lose a thousand bucks, you're way down here. It's a real shit feeling. And once you go, you know, win that little bit of money, it's good, but it hurts a lot more to lose that same amount of money. It does, it's not really a, a good uh, balancing act dollar for dollar and thought for thought. So, yeah, so I just want to touch base with that. And uh, this was mainly about the gambling, but, you know, I, I still feel like I should uh, set kind of like a rule book. Because right then and there, you damn right, tomorrow after my shift, I want to go back, but I'm not going to. Um, this is all about changing your mindset, trying to reset that, and I don't know if that's even possible. I really don't think it's possible. Once you have that addict mentality of not enough, I, I don't know if you can take it away. It might be engraved in my head, it might not be, I don't know. I just know, like, when I cut something out, doesn't matter for how long, and I get a taste of that, whatever it be, a, a nice, always sins. Always sins. I love sins. Sinning is the best, best and worst. It's, it feels the best. It feels the best at the time, but afterwards you feel like shit. So I'm gonna cut this video, um, and yeah. So this is this was just mainly about gambling, and uh, you know it, it kind of fits with the dr a little bit of the drinking and a little bit of the the addict mentality that I have and a lot of other people are struggling with. And the thing is what you got to do is just be honest with yourself. As long as you're honest with yourself, you know, that's why I'm doing these videos. I'm watching these videos and judging myself. You can't judge yourself. You look in the mirror, you, you see you, but when you watch yourself on camera, you really think like, oh fuck, that guy's an idiot. Why didn't he just quit drinking in the first place? Why, did, why does he even gamble? Why does he smoke cigarettes? Why does that fat fuck you a whole fucking pizza? You know? Um, and the thing is, un unless you, you can never understand it, unless you have that obsessive, obsessive mental illness or mentality or whatever you want to call it, you know, you you'll never be able to tell someone else. Um, but yeah, I'll cut that there. And uh, thank you for listening. And uh, all the best with everyone's sobriety. And, uh, uh, my next video might be a little bit better, so right now I got um, the light, the camera, and I'm going to get a little microphone, so that's coming in Amazon. Um, yeah, so thanks for listening, and uh, have a good day.